it's Jean here and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a first impression slash review video and I am so super excited because my girlfriend Mel and I have been hyping ourselves, talking about it for a while and we put in an auto and it took a while to get here and plus because it actually came last week but because I was in Sydney I wasn't able to pick it up till this week because I've been really busy with work and stuff. I haven't actually had a chance to play with it until today so... Today I am going to be reviewing some Colourpop um, lip products, eyeshadows and a few bits and bobs. So let's go! So long story short, I was reading a lot of comparisons between Colourpop and Kylie kits and a lot of people were saying that they're very similar, they could actually have been relabeled um, or that they were dupes of one another. So Colourpop's are not, it's not, it's a brand that I've heard of but it's not something that's been on my radar um, until I looked at the website and realised how affordable they were. They were only like for like five to six dollars for um, a lip product. So my girlfriend Mel and I looked through the site and put through an order and oh my god I was so excited because it was like you know six dollars each so I went a little bit crazy and um, purchased a whole lot of stuff which was cheap but once it all adds up it was actually not as cheap as I thought. Um, I ended up still spending like over 200 bucks for these products and that's because the shipping was quite expensive as well so our shipping to Australia was like 45 just to be over 45 US dollars um, so yeah but I ordered the product I ordered this on May the 12th um, and I didn't receive it till I think around the 31st of May because I was in Sydney that week and I couldn't pick it up till the next week so yeah but when I did pick it up, it came in a white satchel bag, and this was what was inside, and it's so cute. I love good packaging, and considering I paid like over 45 US for it, um, you would really hope that it was packaged nicely, and that, my friends, it was packaged nicely. Okay, so this is the box. And when you open it up, it looks like this, which is so nice. I love this whole like thing. I don't want to throw the box out. Like I want to do something with a box because it's so pretty. Um, but it comes with like these little foam things, so nothing breaks, which nothing would have anyway because there's not like glass or anything. I don't think. Um, but yeah, so it came with that, and it also came with some brochures. Um, this obviously isn't an unboxing because I've already opened it because I get excited and open it straight away. So. But yeah, but this is what you get inside, just a whole lot of products, and yes. So that was the box, and these are all the stuff that I got, which I took out today to play with. I actually did my makeup using the Colourpop, the eyeshadows, the contour um, sets, as well as some of the lip products. So if you want to see that video, check in next week, and I'll post that up. But yeah, so this is all the stuff that I got, and I'm just going to go through and review them. So I'm going to start off with some lip products and before I continue I just want to say that this is not a sponsored video. It's not affiliated with Colourpop in any other way but the fact that I bought it with my own money um, and this is for my own personal use. So they have a lot of different shades in their collections um, but I wanted to keep my order as minimal as possible but the colours are all like slightly different that I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I bought a couple from each collection. So the first collection I got is the Ultra matte lip these are the um, lip colors and I got four um, which I will swatch them and show you what they look like the first one is beeper which is a mid-tone taupe this one is chili chili which is a plummy brown this one is limbo which is a deep chocolate brown and I think it has a little tiny bit of like a red in it. And this one is called more better which is described as a deep violet wine but I think it's more of a blue toned pink. And can I just say these are really hard to get off as well, they're quite messy. So since I got the package, I've been carrying around Beeper with me um, just to test it out. And I've noticed a few things, um, the packaging for one. So this is the packaging which I like. It's very simple. It's very um, 
lightweighted and it's just really easy to hold and to carry around but because I've been carrying around for and using this for a good I think four days now four or five days what I have noticed is that their logo is actually starting to come off like really easily so I don't know if you can see but it says ultra matte lip but the lip bit is like I don't even find it but it's actually starting to come off so that's one thing that I noticed um, and the lip product, the actual applicator looks like this. It's like a, what do you call these? Like the doe foot um, applicators, which is, you know, pretty standard and it's easy to apply. Um, when you apply it on your lips, so they go on quite nicely. It's more, it feels like a nice, like watery base. Um, but I don't really feel, after when it dries, I actually don't feel any texture or anything. Like, it's very lightweight. I don't feel anything, which is good. That being said, though, when I first applied it, um, it was really nice and it kind of, you know, went in nicely with my lips, blended in with my natural lip color. However, once it dries, I noticed that the color tends to, once once it's set, it darkens a bit. So I'm not sure whether it oxidizes or whether, you know, it's just the product drying. But when you wear it the first time, once it dries, it does go slightly darker. Um, so I feel that even though, you know, it shows you the color of what it looks like. It's not exactly the same as what it comes out. I don't know if you can tell, but when I look at it um, in real light, this looks a lot darker than what's in the tube. So just be mindful that when you choose your colors, it may not be exact. Um, but yeah, that's the one thing that I noticed with that one. Now the next three, I got a Ultra Satin lip products. So I got these ones and I'll show you what these ones look like. So the first one is called Echo Park, which is a warm peachy nude. This one is called Mess Around, which is described as a mid-tone grey beige, but I think it's a perfect taupe. And this one is called Frickin' Frack, which is described as a rosy terracotta, and this is one of my favourite colours that I look for in a lipstick. So with these satin ones, I feel that they also dry on quite matte. So even though ones are ultra matte, ones are ultra HD, like they at the end result, they're all both kind of look like matte products anyway. Um, but the one thing I notice with the ultra satin is that when you apply it, it's a lot more creamier and it feels a little bit thicker. So the ultra matte ones feel a bit more watery, whereas these ones are a little bit more creamier. And when you wear it and you, you know go like that you can kind of feel it a lot more as well so it's kind of like a little bit tiny bit tacky but it just feels I guess more creamy um but yeah with both of these products um this one also darkens a little bit but not as much as the ultra mattes but what I noticed with these products now they don't claim to be long lasting but because they're matte they last quite a while anyways especially with the beep one I haven't really played around with the ultra satin to notice and plus when I do I only wear the echo park which is echo park or echo point Echo Park, which is a slightly lighter shade, so I can't really tell with my lips anyway because it blends in. But they last a decent amount of time, and they don't. I personally don't feel like they dry my lips. A lot of people will say that they dry their lips. I don't have a problem because with the Ultra Mats, I don't really feel it. It feels really lightweight. With the Ultra Satin, it feels like something is there, and it feels a more creamy. Um, so I do notice it, but after when I eat, I don't see a difference only because the color I use is more of a natural color. But what I've noticed with the ultra mattes is that especially the inside of your lips um, come off when you eat. However, the outside of it still stays perfectly fine throughout the day. Like for eight hours, it was still there. So you may need to touch up a little bit like in the middle, like after you eat. However, generally around it lasts a good eight hours. So that's also good. It's not, um, it is transferable, so when you do, you know, clean your mouth or touch it, it will move, but it won't actually take it off your lips. So even though it'll come off in your hand, it'll still stay nicely on your lips. Now the next ones I got are their lippy sticks, and I've got three of the matte and three of the matte X. So I'll go through and show you what those look like. So the first one is Lumiere, which is a dusty mauve pink, and this is by the Kathleen Lights Collection. The next one is called Brink, and this is a warm, dusty taupe, which is a perfect 
natural colour. This one is called Hollywood Boulevard and this is a nice yellow toned brown. This one is called Chi Chi which is a, apparently a true orange but I think it's more of like a coral orange. This one is called Booty which is an orange red but this one reminds me a lot like the MAC Sochord. And this one is called Love Life which is described as a brownish brick red but I think of it as more of a nice classic red. Now these are lipsticks, so they come in different packaging, which I don't mind, but they kind of remind me of like long tampons. Um, but yeah, but I think the packaging is quite ideal. Um, it's really thin, so you can carry it anywhere, and yeah, and it's kind of like, it's got a, like a nice applicator at the end, where it's kind of like um, on an angle, and it just comes out the tube, which I don't think is a coincidence that it is designed like this, because it's a thin um it's a thin kind of like product you really need something like this to be able to hold it otherwise it will break um, but yeah it's quite nice there is a big difference though between the matte and the matte X um, I find that the matte is a little bit harder to apply and it's more I guess the product is, seems a little bit more dry um, it actually when I put it on it actually reminds me of like a Mac lipstick the smell is kind of similar to a MAC um it's quite like it goes on really nice the color comes on it's a little bit the matte is a little bit more I guess blotchy like in what do you call it like it's not chapped but I don't know it kind of the formula feels a little bit too overbaked if that makes sense but I do really like the matte x the matte x seems like they've updated or improved their formula because these glide on a lot more creamier like without looking at it and just applying it you can tell the difference so if you were to get any of these products i would recommend getting the matte x collection rather than the matte because it just glides on a lot better um they are lipsticks and even though they're matte they're not exactly um, I actually don't know if they're long lasting because I haven't worn it long enough to notice. However, they're not smudge proof and they will smudge and they will get on your clothes and your hands and wherever. So take note of that. But yeah. And the last lip products I got were some lip pencils. I only got four of these because I thought that would go nice as a base to go with the, um, the other lip products. But unfortunately, like I picked these as a suggestion based on the website um the website suggested to go with these however these i don't know to me i think they appear a lot darker than what i thought it would be but i'll show you what they look like on my lips this one is called lady which is described as a cool toned dirty burgundy this one is called bossy which is described as a classic blue red and i think this is a nice classic red the next one is called Dahlia and this is a deep warm burgundy wine. It's a nice dark red. And the last one is called Pitch which is a dark chocolate brown. So when you apply it they're quite creamy and they glide on really nicely like that. Um, I think it's a perfect, they're not extremely, I think they're about 50-50 of their creamy consistency. Like it's creamy enough to be able to glide on your lips. But when you kind of like move your lips around to kind of spread it, um, it only goes slightly. So I think it's a really good product. And um, these like, I think they're like $5 each as well. The only thing is though, I'm not really a big fan of like plastic um, cases where you sharpen it because then what you get is you get like a ring I don't know if you can see but the lip product and then you get this like ring around which means that you know if you smudge it or get it on it kind of drags it on your face which I'm not really a big fan on but you know what these are good products like they like actual formula of it is actually quite good like I said the color of it though I thought it would be slightly lighter um, I've got a lot I use mainly like NYX pencils and this compared to the Mac, the NYX ones, these are more creamy and easy to apply. And they're not smudge proof, but they don't transfer. So if you accidentally touch it, they don't transfer. However, if you smudge it, then obviously they will. But 
yeah, so I've got those four. So moving on to eyeshadows, I bought about 10, which I haven't even tried half of these yet, but I feel like I haven't bought like eyeshadow pots in so long because lately I've been only buying like palettes. But sometimes with palettes, sometimes you only like one or two colours, but you don't exactly, you know, like the others. Um, but yeah, so I thought this time I would buy some of my favourite colours and something different to play around with as well. So I got Nam 10. So the first one I got is called Sunset Boulevard. And this is from um, the K-pop range, which is the, how do you say her name? Karuchi? Karuchi Tran? I don't know. But anyways, I love her. She's so pretty. But this is from her range, which looks like this. And it's like a champagne shimmer, like shimmer kind of color, which actually on me, like you can't really tell. It's not a big difference. So I got this because it's similar to my skin color, but just a little bit more shimmery, um, which I think will be nice for like an everyday Kind of like just to brighten up my eyes a bit. The second one I got is called Alchemy. Alchemy, if that's right. This is a Super Shock Shadow. This is from um, Jamie King's collection, which looks like this. And this is kind of like a nice metallic -y shimmer colour, which I don't know if you can see, but it looks like this and I bought this because it's like a nice light champagne shimmer and I think it'll go really nice like in the corner of my eyes and this one is slightly a little bit more glittery like the shimmer like a I don't know how to explain it but it's like a metallic kind of like shimmer which is really nice now I think these are about five dollars each which is quite affordable and it looks like you get quite a lot of product in it as well um, when you swatch it on your fingers they're quite pigmented and they come out really nice however what I've noticed when I applied it on my face is that if you use a brush brushes don't exactly I don't know it's not as pigmented like it doesn't come off come out as easily on a brush than it does in your fingers so I think I don't know these are one of the products that just work better with fingers I guess the next one I got is called truth and it looks like this which is like a nice taupe like taupe kind of like lightly light shimmer and this one looks like that which I think it's just nice like it's a little bit lighter than my normal skin color just to make my eyes pop out more vibrant or something like that but that one is really nice so I don't know if you can see there's like a theme going on like I love these like highlighting kind of shimmer colors but the next one I got is called Cornelius and it looks like this this is more of like a matte, um, a matte colour. It's like a matte kind of light cocoa colour. And this is like a shade darker than my, um, not even, it's like a subtle darker than my skin colour. Which I thought would be nice to put in um, just the crease on my eyes. Just to make it a little bit more deeper. And it looks like this. So it's almost similar to like a bronzer colour. Um, but yeah, I thought this was like a nice one that I could carry around with me like as an everyday kind of eyeshadow. And the next one is called Midnight, which looks like this. And I love this colour. It's kind of like a bronzy, um, metallic kind of colour. And it's just, oh, it's just amazing. But it looks like this, which is quite pigmented as well. And I think these are really nice colours to put like, you know, to achieve like a smoky look. And it's like metallic -y, like shimmer, and I'm obsessed with like these. These are like my little weak spots. Like when it comes to eyeshadow, I tend to lean towards the shimmery ones. And this one is, uh, it's like, I've got like eyeshadow all over myself. But this one is called Vanity Fair, which looks like this. It's kind of similar. This one is more of a like a purple plummy brown, um, which is also really nice. And... It's also got a little bit, it's not as strong, but it's got, it feels like it's like metallic-y. It's not shimmery, but it is metallic-y, if that makes sense. It kind of looks like a brown, but it's got, got a little bit of like taupe slash like purple in it or something like that. But yeah, I thought that was really nice just to darken up my crease. Um, use it as like a, tra like a transition stage between um, eyeshadows. And I also got this one, which is similar to the other one. This one is called Mitten, Mittens, but it's slightly a little bit more on like the earthy kind of red brown. I don't know, lately I've been really into brown eyeshadows. But this one is more, actually this is a matte, 
this is like a matte version but like more of a brown kind of reminds me of like dark chocolate i also got two bright like statement colors just to play around with and the first one i got is called coconut which looks like this and it's like a blue metallic blue color which looks so nice it's like dark blue but yeah let's see what this one looks like oh it's like it's like I don't know how to explain it but it's so pretty I don't know what I'll do with it but I don't know it just looks really nice and mesmerizing so I thought I'll get it and play around with it I don't know I'll figure something out and I also got shop which looks like this it's like a um kind of like a pinky kind of red like a I don't know how to explain this color but I thought this would be really nice something different um lately I've been really into those like earthy kind of red colors um I thought I'd play around with this as well and this is I think this is a matte color because it kind of goes on more like a blush kind of pink pinky kind of like corally red but yeah so that one's really nice and like I said these come out really pigmented on my hand however when you use a brush though the brush doesn't really come out as much so it's actually I don't know like something something with the formula or something but it it's really hard for I find it that it, it's really hard for the brush to kind of pick up the product and apply it you're better off using your fingers because I don't know but the last one I got, this one is called Shameless and I think this is like a, it's like a black with some green shimmer on it that looks like this. It's so pretty. This is one of my favourite colours as well. I tend to buy eyeshadows because I think it's so pretty. Not that sometimes I'll exactly use it, but I think it's just a really nice, pretty colour that looks like that. I don't know, maybe I can do like a smoky look with this, but yeah, so I'm just making a whole lot of mess right now, so let me just clean this up. So those are all the eyeshadows that I got, and I can't wait to use these, especially the um, statement colours. I don't know what I'll do, but I'll figure something out. And I did also get an, one other eye product, and this is um, their cream gel called Kicker, which looks like this. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like, I haven't even opened this one yet and it's actually really hard to open okay i don't know if i'm missing something but why is this really hard to open it's like what is going on all right i think you need like a degree to be able to open it because i have no idea what the fuck this is it kind of like the lid it kind of looks like this this is the cream gel but it doesn't, I don't know why it doesn't open, but when you can kind of like undo the cap that looks like this, however, how do I get to the product? <sighs> okay, so I actually have to Google how to open these because they're so freaking hard, but it turns out you just have to like, I have no idea why, but you kind of have to like take the lid off and then somehow screw this and this was on really tight, but yeah, so the end result looks like this which is like a nice um, silver kind of colour. Um, I really wanted to get some of the other ones, but they were all sold out. So the only one I could get was this, which I don't know, I thought I'd play around with it. I've never, I don't actually own any like other cream gels. Um, but yeah, so it looks like this. And you know what I play? Like I purchased this because I thought, you know, it's something that I don't have and I could play around with it. But I'm thinking of recreating like, um, Kristen Stewart's um, makeup look for the Cannes Film Festival but yes yeah. so the last two products I got were the sculpture sticks um, which look like these so these are kind of like highlighting and contouring sticks um, there's not there's only two shades like these are the only ones I don't know whether they're new um, or whether they'll bring out other shades but you pretty much get one for highlighting and one for contouring the highlighting one is called relieve which looks like that which is quite nice and it's actually quite um blender it's quite blendable as well so that's quite nice and the contouring one is called renaissance which looks like this and it looks it looks really dark like a really dark 
brown um, which kind of scared the shit out of me but you know what like once you start blending it it actually like blends quite nicely and it really lightens up so it's actually not too bad as well I mean if you have fair skin this probably wouldn't be the best so I'm not sure whether they'll come up with other shades but yeah, but these are the last two products that I got. And they're quite creamy. They're easy to apply. Um, like I said, they look intimidating because they're dark at first. But once you start blending it out, um, it's actually not too bad. And I'm actually wearing it now. So, yeah. So that is the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Sorry if it was a bit long yet again, but I did buy a lot of stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. And also, you know, I know a lot of people do like Colourpop reviews, but I just want to show you what it looks like on another Asian complexion. Um, but yeah, so if you have any favourites or anything, let me know and leave it in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to watch more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!